boyfriend cheats on me with my step-sibling so I get him kicked out and destroy his relationship with his parents. Hello Reddit people, D I've been wanting to post my story on here for absolutely ages but I just never got around to doing it. So, then I figured, since I have a Reddit account now, I might as well post it. When I was around 17 I started dating a guy, 19, I'll call him Jake for the sake of this post. Also age of consent where I live is 16 so nothing illegal happening here. We got on well, spent a lot of time together and cared for each other a lot. We even started talking about living together once we both moved out. We were a perfectly happy couple. Or so I thought. You see, after we'd been dating for a few months, something in Jake changed. He was getting a lot more distant. Whenever he was with me he'd be checking his phone constantly. We stopped spending as much time together and he started to get really funny about public affection, regarding things like hand holding and stuff. He also seemed to start caring less and less about my feelings. I used to have a bit of a thing for humiliation in the bedroom, nothing too far and we'd spoken about what Jake should and shouldn't say, but he started to get more and more degrading. He'd tell me how no one would ever love me and would pick on my insecurities, I actually broke down crying a few times when this happened. To give him a bit of credit, the first few times he did stop everything he was doing and apologize slash cuddle with me until I felt better but eventually that stopped too and he just began rolling his eyes and telling me to grow up. He was like a completely different person. The insults started to seep into our everyday life. He'd pick on my appearance a lot, bring up my family, I was dealing with a lot of family issues at the time, bring up the fact that I slept around before we started dating, a sort of rebellion caused by the family issues, etc. If got upset by it he'd just leave the room and let me cry by myself. I started to feel like it was my fault our relationship was falling apart, maybe I just wasn't good enough for him. I knew deep down that he was cheating on me and that was confirmed when I got a message from a guy, David, on Facebook telling me that he'd been sleeping with Jake. He apologized profusely and told me that he broke things off with Jake as soon as he found out he had a boyfriend. I couldn't be mad at David, it wasn't his fault. We spoke for hours and I reassured David that it wasn't his fault and that he'd done nothing wrong. David also helped me to stop making excuses for Jake's attitude and the way he'd been acting. He was a godsend. The thing that truly broke me happened not too long after the cheating was discovered. We'd been arguing a hell of a lot more. Then he decided to do something absolutely unforgivable. You see, I had a stained relationship with my father for years. He'd cheat on my mother constantly and eventually, he settled down and had kids with the girl he'd been seeing behind her back. He did try to have some sort of relationship with me till I was about 13 14ish and then decided that he didn't love me as much as his other kids and we stopped any and all contact. It broke me and it still hurts to think about to this day. Anyway, Jake went out of his way to find one of my step-siblings online and slept with them. He bragged about it the next day and my step-sibling actually posted online about what had happened and I received a bunch of messages from their friends telling me how I had deserved it. This was probably the lowest point in my life and I hated myself, partly for allowing it to happen and partly because I had started to believe what they were saying. My only solace during this time was David, I didn't want to burden my friends with my problems and David was one of the only people who knew firsthand what Jake was like. We spoke for a few weeks and eventually talk turned to revenge. I had tried calling things off a couple of months prior due to Jake's awful behavior but he started with the apologies and telling me he didn't mean it, he'd never do it again. He even spoke to some of my family members who, unknowingly, pressured me to get back together with him as we were such a sweet couple. I hadn't wanted to tell them the real reason that we'd broken up so I kept the details pretty vague. Though I'm pretty sure some of them had seen my step-siblings post and knew why I didn't want to be with him. After weeks of talking and planning, I had finally had enough and decided to do something about it. My father wasn't exactly a rich man but he worked a pretty well-paying job and earned enough money to live fairly comfortably. He had begun spreading rumors around when I was younger during a custody battle with my mother, that he had set up a trust fund for me and that there was enough money there to get me set up in my own place when I was 18, 
plus a bit extra. I knew that this was absolute bull poop. He tried to get out of paying child support all the time, of course he'd never set up a trust fund for me. However, Jake didn't. We'd never spoken about it a lot but he'd heard the rumors and I'd just always say what I told you folks, my father was an appalling parent who grudged paying my mother child support so why the hell would he set up a trust fund? But Jake wouldn't listen. He even did his own research into the type of job my father worked and came up with an estimate of how much he thought my father was earning. Though, to his credit, he did drop the subject whenever I asked him to, for a while anyways. I decided to use this to my advantage. Jake and I were still dating though I avoided him at any chance I got. Until one night where I sat him down and told him that since I'd be turning 18 in a couple of weeks, I'd started thinking about us getting our own place. With the trust fund my father had set up for me. He immediately cheered up at this and honestly I think that night was the first time in months that he'd said anything nice to me when we weren't in public or with friends slash family. This very nearly made me want to call the whole thing off but I spoke with David later that night and he reminded me that Jake would go back to his usual degrading attitude in no time. We started looking at flats, though Jake was kind enough to let me have the final say and handle the paperwork, because how could he possibly go out and cheat on me if he had to sort out the paperwork for a flat? I was a little surprised by this to be very honest as I'd always thought that he'd want his name on the paperwork and everything so I couldn't kick him out. But by this point he'd slept with my step-sibling, degraded me, smashed my self-confidence to pieces and cheated on me regularly, I think by now he thought that I wouldn't kick him out no matter what he did. Anyways, I started taking up extra shifts at work to try and save enough money to actually move out. Not with Jake though, oh no. I was moving in with my friend, Emma. We had both been thinking about moving out for a while anyways and though, why not just be roommates? We found a cute little one bedroom flat that was close to our college and work and started getting stuff sorted to move in. I also didn't want to bring any trouble to my mother's door if Jake started kicking up a fuss. Emma had no issues with clawing the face off him if need be and told me not to worry about him coming to our front door. Then came the next part of the plan. I waited till a week or so before Jake and I were supposedly moving into our own flat and stole his phone for a few minutes. He'd stopped caring about leaving his phone unattended and would sometimes flat out brag about how lucky he was to be able to sleep with whoever he wanted and come home to a little which who'd make him dinner. So that day when he went for a shower, he wasn't all too bothered about taking his phone with him. Perfect. I went onto his phone, deleted my number from his contacts and changed the name of his um's contact as mine. Pleased, I went to the kitchen, smashed one of the plates. It was my mother's but it was a cheap one from a local shop and I did replace it as soon as possible. I left for work once everything was done, my mother had left for work a couple hours prior so she was safe. I just needed a reason for him to get pissed off. And, oh boy, did he get pissed off. His first reaction was to text me, calling me all the disgusting names under the sun. Except it wasn't me he texted, it was his mum. I'd texted her in advance and told her that I hoped she'd forgive me but she had to see what her son was really like. She'd never tried to defend him as much as she just hadn't known quite how bad his behavior was. She'd actually called him out a couple of times where he'd slipped up and been harsh with me when she was there. She went apeshit. I never found out exactly how their argument went as she phoned him to scream at him and call him out for his poopy behavior finally seeing how horrible her son was. It didn't help that she'd been sent screenshots of some of the times where he'd admitted to cheating. She was absolutely disgusted by her son's behavior and phoned me to apologize on Jake's behalf. It wasn't her fault though, he's old enough to know how to act like a damn adult. He wound up telling his mum essentially that her opinion didn't matter as he'd be moving in with me anyways. Needless to say when he called me on Facebook, after I deleted my number from his phone, I took some satisfaction in telling him that we weren't moving in together, that the trust fund wasn't real, I'd already told him that in the past, he just refused to listen, and that I'd moved in with Emma. I was called all the working girls and working girls under the sun, his voice sort of turned into white noise after a while. 
I told him we were over and hung up. Blocked him on everything. He had to run back to his mum and dad, his tail between his legs, and they took him back for a little while. Though after a bit, the arguments became too much and his parents kicked him out, he stayed with a couple of friends for a few months before he managed to get his own place. His parents, especially his mother, have not been the same with him since. I still talk to his mum on occasion. Lastly, David and I took the liberty of sending screenshots of Jake's mistreatment to as many of the people he'd been hooking up with as possible. A couple of sleepless nights were spent trying to track people down on Facebook. Part of it was to get back at Jake but most of it was just to make sure that none of them got roped into a full-on relationship with him and had to deal with all the crap I'd gone through. So there it is, my little story of pro-revenge. I know this is really long so there's a too long didn't read below. I wasn't ever planning on posting my story but I was scrolling through Facebook the other day and one of Jake's new accounts popped up on the people you may now section. After talking with Emma about it, she suggested posting it here, I hope it fits in this subreddit. By smile, too long didn't read boyfriend turns into a cheating butthole and winds up sleeping with one of my step siblings to hurt me, knowing that I do not have contact with my father. I play up to the rumor that my dad has set up a trust fund, he hadn't, trick him into thinking we can move in together and into ruining his relationship with his parents. He winds up getting kicked out, I move in with a friend. Also send screenshots of his harmful texts to all of his partners to ensure they don't make the mistake of dating him. Edit, okay, first, thank you for all the kind comments and awards. I'm doing a lot better now, this happened a few years ago and I haven't had to deal with Jake since. Secondly, I saw a few people getting confused about the plate part, thinking I was still in the house so why would he text me? I had left for work by the time he'd gotten out of the shower so he couldn't yell at me. Also, my mother was at work so I didn't leave her with him, don't worry. I edited this in my original post just to clear things up for people, just in case by some chance they don't see the edit. I hope this helps smile last quick edit, I saw a lot of people were confused in the comments about my gender, I'm a bisexual male. Jake was also bisexual. I hope this cleared up some confusion, I don't know why I hadn't written it before Hey guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help me out, thanks. The part where you change his mom's contact to your name is a pro move. Worth the read. Beautiful. That is absolutely stunning, thank you for sharing it. He deserves every little bit of it for treating you so badly. I'm glad you're out. Hope you're doing okay now. Thank you so much. I'm doing much better now. Emma and I are still living together so she helps me out if I have a bad day.